guys rolling on the ropes. Break, break thing, break thing, break thing, gentlemen, break thing, break thing. Lewis having a tough time getting his front leg in because Wallace is so quick with his front leg and when, when Lewis does move across there, it just kind of just hangs up. And again, a nice spin move by Wallace puts Lewis into the corner and Lewis with his strength turns it back around as we are at the 10 second mark left in round six. And another slow kick there by Wallace as uh, Lewis rushing in, didn't give him a chance to throw the kick. And as round six comes to an end, John, we are looking at Dennis Alexio. Alexio, of course, the heavyweight champion in, uh, in kick, ISKA, Daryl Hennigan, his opponent, FFKA. And uh, these two will go for the undisputed heavyweight championship here in just moments. One more round left in the Wallace Lewis fight. This next one should be a banger. I tell you, uh, Dennis Alexio has had a lot of reservations about this fight. He is very nervous about fighting Daryl Hennigan. Daryl Hennigan with a lot of reach on him. He moves well, he kicks well, he's not afraid to fight. And it's been a while since Dennis Alexio has really had a challenge. He's, he's fought guys that really weren't of his caliber, and uh, Daryl Hennigan should be somebody that can stay in there with him. Well, you know, the truth is there aren't a whole lot of guys that are his caliber. When you come right down to it, Daryl Hennigan is, and we will see that later. Right now, the seventh and final round, Bill Wallace, Joe Lewis. And Lewis in with three unanswered jabs are right into the ribs, and Wallace holds on. I guess the trick is to stay as close to Wallace so he can't throw those kicks. I just don't know how you do it. Hook kick to the head by Wallace. Good jab then by Wallace as Lewis moves across. You know, Lewis uh, had to be so conscious of that front leg that sometimes that left hand will just slide right in. Well, you get so caught up dealing with that kick that you don't even have time to worry about a punch. Wallace complaining about his own low shot there. He got whacked in the low. Both of them traded out, I think, in this fight on low, <laughs> low, land, low blows. And again, that hook kick there, landing more on the shoulder than anything, as Lewis has Wallace pinned on the ropes and is scoring in there. Wallace covering up well, takes one up around the ear from Lewis. Less than a minute left in this fight. Ooh. And there's a good side kick that caught Lewis coming in right smack in the jaw, and that shook him. Lewis, with that strength, can lean on Wallace and get his head clear. And Wallace there. <laughs> he never misses an opportunity, does Never, he? never. Never misses a chance. But he won't wear a clown nose. Tried to get him to wear one once he won't do it. <laughs> but he will clown. <laughs> Lewis a little bit upset with himself. He got caught with that kick as Wallace snuck it in on him. We're under five seconds in this fight. That's it. Wallace closing with a flurry into the belly. And again, there you have it, Bill Wallace and Joe Lewis, two of the great legends in this sport. Again, Joe Lewis, the man who started this sport. Bill Wallace, <laughs> this Wallace is trying to pick up Joe Lewis and can't really do it. There are 33 pounds of weight between these guys, and the crowd is on its feet in appreciation of these two great athletes at the ages of 45 and 46 who have come in here and put on a show that anybody would envy. Now look here as Joe gets in there, he's up underneath that kick, he throws the hook, and you almost wonder if that shouldn't have been a knockdown. Certainly the punch is what knocked him down, but he got, Wallace got his foot caught up on Lewis's shoulder there. And I can tell you this, I hope at home, folks that you enjoyed this fight I can tell you the two people on earth who enjoyed this fight more than anybody else were Bill Wallace and Joe Lewis these guys have been wanting to do this and they had a lot of fun doing it I can promise you John Worley is making his way to the ring as we speak and let's show you one more replay here 
uh, in this uh, last final round between Wallace, Bill Wallace and Joe Lewis. And again, you can see John Worley in the ring there getting the fighters together. He's going to talk to both of them. Here's Wallace in the gray, that head kick, and that hook kick into the jaw, and Lewis mad at himself because he got caught with it. But a nice hook kick with Wallace. He throws that leg up there, and he pivots it off the knee. The thigh really doesn't move that much, but he flips that leg around off of the knee pivot, and he's very, very good at that. Let's go up to the ring now. Well, we're having a little difficulty here. We're just about to go up to the ring and talk to both Joe Lewis and Bill Wallace. Fighters up here. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have your decision. George Thatch scores the bout 67 to 67 even. Judge Buton scores the bout 67-66 in favor of Wallace. Judge Miller scores the bout 67-67. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a draw. Superfoot Wallace and the Golden Boy. Joe Let's go Lewis up to, battling to a draw. Let's go up to John Worley in the ring. As, uh, I don't think either one of these guys are going to be happy with this result. John, take it away. Make the decision. Uh, yeah, well, we were, we were holding back a little bit too much. We're sorry for that. But I, I think what we demonstrated here is that unlike uh, ex-athletes, ex-heavyweights, and other sports, we proved that you could still stay in shape regardless of the fact that you're over 40 and regardless of the fact that you're over 45. Nolan Ryan, all right, George Foreman, all right, baby. Bill, did you have fun? <laughs> we're old. But it's an absolute ball. I absolutely love it. Joe Lewis and I... He's still pretty. He's still pretty. He's got a hard end, and he hits awful hard, and I'm glad he's...